Uh, in today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to fake a high dynamic range image um, inside of After Effects just using um, any video you've captured. Um, other tutorials you can find online that you may find helpful is uh, fake HDRI in Photoshop as well as Andrew Kramer's explanation of 32-bit images in HDRI. Um, that you can find on Video Copilot. So the first thing you want to do is open up After, After Effects, um, import your footage, create a new comp. Hoping you can all follow that along without me having to show you step by step. Um, the next thing you want to do is come down here and change um, the default will generally be set at 8 bits per channel. Um, you want to move it to 32-bit per channel float, and that will give you um, the high dynamic range values that you're looking for. Um, I won't go into too much detail about it in this tutorial. Um, if you want more detail, you can check out Andrew Kramer's tutorial, which um, gives a whole lot of detail on it. Um, but what it does is allows for super white whites with values higher than 1.0 um, and darker darks as well. Um, so the first thing you want to do is import your footage, change it to 32 bits, and then um, inside the comp go ahead and duplicate the footage, Apple D. Um, we'll bring in uh, the exact same comp. Um, with this layer, what you're going to do is add a hue, saturation, invert the footage, and then blur it. Um, so the first thing we want to do is go into Effects, Color Correction, Hue, Saturation. Um, if you have trouble finding where all these effects are, you know you can always come over here and just type in uh, what you need and it should pop up right away. <clears throat> um, so you're not going to have to worry about much inside the hue saturation. You don't want to colorize the footage. All you want to do for this step is to drop the master saturation down. Um, you know, this always depends on the footage you're using um, because it can vary for a number of reasons. Um, but right about there looks good. You just want to kind of mute the colors, um, and then everything else you can leave just fine. The next thing you want to do is invert this footage. So again, effects, uh, color correction, no, uh, channels, invert. Um, and with this you can leave all the attributes at the default settings um, because you want to be working inside RGB and you don't need to blend it at all with the original. The final thing you want to do is blur this out, blow it out so that you can't really get any detail from the photo. All you see is um, general values. So blur, sharpen, Gaussian blur. You can leave it at horizontal and vertical, but drag this up um, until you can't really tell what's going on in the image. And then all you get are the, the dark and light values. Um, so this is good. Let's just bring it up to 40. Just OK. And then. Um, Next thing you want to do is come down here and change the mode to overlay so that you can see through to the bottom layer and all you get are um, some highlights. So you get more, uh, more of that high dynamic range image feel. Um, last step, this is a very quick tutorial today. Um, not a whole lot to do to get your dynamic ranges. Um, duplicate again. Let's bring it up here. Um, and then 
This time you only really have one thing to do um, to it. And what you want to do is bring in some curves to this um, and introduce an S curve. So color correction curves. Um, and this again, it all depends on your um, video that you have yourself. If you have a you know sky image or something, it's going to be a much much different look, um, much different look, much more different looking curve. Um, but what you really want to do is just uh, get it so that these um, darker values over here get kind of blown out into the white. Um, and that looks good enough for this tutorial anyway. If I was putting this together for um, someone, I'd probably spend a little more time on it. <clears throat> um, and then the last thing you have to do is, again, change the overlay method to, or change the mode to overlay, excuse me. Um, and then, you know, you may just want to go ahead and drop the opacity a little bit to bring back some more of the um, original image. But as you can see, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Um, so you can see in this play blast of it, um, the original image swiping across what the HDRI image looks like. Generally, I would give you the video files to work with this as well, but unfortunately, um, this is for a commercial project that I was contacted to um, turn into HDRI, you know, although I never <laughs> know what happened to the guy who contacted me to do it, because after I showed him um, you know, that I was able to create the HDR image, he never got back to me. Um, so his loss is our gain. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment on the blog or uh, hit me up by email. All right, take care.